Welcome, my name is Casey. I'm a student financial services counselor here at UVM, located in the Waterman building. Today I will be explaining how to accept your financial aid offer. Um, it's important to note that this should be done by the student um, as they are um, likely going to be the ones to repay the loans um, available in the financial aid offer. Um, so it's up to them um, to make the decision on what is accepted or declined. Um, this is also important to be done um, prior to the bill generating, which is in mid-July um, for the fall semester. Um, by doing so before the bill generates, it allows um, the funds to be accounted for um, on the bill. First step would be to log into your MyUVM portal. Um, once you've logged in, you'll then select the Student Financial Services tab at the top. Um, from here, it'll bring you to this page. Um, you'll locate the financial aid heading. Under that, you'll select View My Award. From there, you will then select the desired year, um, which would be the upcoming academic year. This will then bring you to this page, um, which is the General Information tab. Um, this explains um, in um, a little bit of detail um, what you'll find on each of the tabs uh, moving forward. One of the most important tabs um, would be the resources in, a, in, addition, in um, additional information tab. This re is required um, to be done um, in order to accept or decline any part of your financial aid offer as it includes Title IV authorization. Um, what Title IV authorization does is um, it allows um, UVM to gain permission um, to know how you would like to use your federal funding. Um, in excess of allowable charges such as tuition, mandatory fees, housing and meals um, for things such as library fines or parking fines. Um, it's important that you have you, you do have to make a decision whether you accept or decline. Um, and you can do so by selecting the drop down here on the right hand side of the page and then submit your decision down in the left. Once you do that, um, you'll then view the terms and conditions um, of your financial aid award um, and then select the view the uh, accept award tab. Um, from here, um, you'll be able to accept part or of your award or um, a partial amount. Um, things that have already been accepted for you include scholarships and grants. Um, things that you'll wanna make a decision on include loans or work study. Um, in order to accept um, a full amount, um, you'll then select the decision under the accept award tab here. Um, if you want the full amount, um, simply se select accept and then submit your decision on the left-hand side. If you wanna accept a partial amount, um, you'll then fill out the amount that you would like to select here. Um, and then also you would wanna click accept and then submit your decision. It's important to note that if this is your first time borrowing federal loans, you will need to complete a promissory note and entrance counseling questionnaire on studentaid.gov. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to Student Financial Services um, by phone, email, or in person drop-in hours. Um, and if you have any questions, please, please do reach out. Thank you.